Family has always had a missing part. What's missing is my sister, Charlotte. Past five years, I've gotten to know, come to love this missing part of my family. And now I want to bring my sister home. I'm sure that you've read all of the documents about who Charlotte is and what she's done to us. Those are just reports. One thing that I've learned from all of this is that people are not always the things that they do. Charlotte DeLuren disposes no threat to me. I was angry for a long time. But now, every morning I wake up, I drink coffee, and I walk outside. It's either sunny or it's raining, but there I am. I'm free. I don't see why Charlotte shouldn't have the same chance to get caught in the rain as I do. No, I'm not afraid of her. My dad taught me that fear is natural. It's a good instinct. He also said that you can decide what you're going to be afraid of. I decided I am not afraid of Charlotte de Laurentiis. Allison and Dr. Rollins have told us how well Charlotte's been doing. Um, how rapidly she's been able to integrate herself into the general hospital population. They feel strongly that... Sorry. Miss Montgomery. Sorry. Um, they feel strongly that now is the right time for Charlotte. Miss Montgomery, I've read the same reports that you have. Well, the doctors... The doctors can speak for themselves. You're here to tell me if you'd feel safe should Charlotte de Laurentiis leave the hospital. Miss Montgomery? No. No, I would not feel safe. I was on the red line going to Braintree and the train stopped in the tunnel between the stations. The power went out and, and it was dark. No, not dark, it was black. And I was back in every box and every dark tight space that A ever put me in and I couldn't breathe. And I heard a girl crying. Good. I thought somebody else is scared out of their mind. And the power came back on. And every single person on that train was staring at me. Because I was the girl that was crying. I don't want Charlotte released. Ever. Comes the last nail in the coffin. I thought I could do this, but I can't. I've been listening to my friends, how they've managed to forgive Charlotte. I wish I could hate her, but I can't. I can't because I know what she went through. I was in Radley Sanitarium. I was there for months. Charlotte was there for years and years. Being in that place is what twisted her all out of shape. Let her out. Let her go home. That's all any of us want. Is to have a home. I'm sorry. 